Welcome to Fish Talk Hunt Radio with John Hennigan, where we're going to cast and blast you right out of this world with some of the best hunting and fishing stories that you can't even imagine. Welcome to Fish Hunt Talk Radio. This is John Hennigan and our host, Frank Selby, and we have a co-host today. Her name is Lace, and she's a... Um, certified captain. She's multi-talented in the, um, mostly in video because, um, I mean, I belong in the radio. She she belongs on the on, on the screen. Oh, thanks. I agree with that. <laughs> oh, stop. But, yeah. If you go to, if you go, if you go to her website, you're going to fall in love. Oh, but thanks. Anyway, Lace. Uh, first of all, a couple of announcements. Um, is the 20% off from Snowbee. So it's uh, Snowbee-USA. And they already have incredible prices, but if you use the um, code word fish talk, you get another 20%. And it great. really, it's a no-brainer. It really is. And this is the time of the year to get geared up for fly fishing. Um, Very cool. Also, we want to talk about we've still got spaces on our trip to uh, Ketchikan, Alaska. Alaska. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you coming, Lace? I'm going to do my best to get there, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, she's coming. Well, you better be. Okay. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Sounds good to me. Yeah. You, know, <laughs> you are, Lace, you're so delightful. It's so much fun to have you on the air. Oh, but uh, anyway, this trip is once in a lifetime type of thing. I don't know if we'll be able to do this again next year because it's one third off. It's a thirty-three hundred dollar trip, which is uh, um, five nights, four fishing days. One day is a is a full, fully guided charter, and then uh, you got these eighteen foot uh, center console skiffs that uh, you take Beautiful. you go out, you go out and come back and you, you know the thing is you can drop your line as soon as you leave the as soon as you leave the marina but uh, and then it's a very high end resort with a gourmet restaurant and it's uh, get in touch with this I mean if you don't do this uh, why not I mean right. it's almost free so if you just got to get yourself to catch a can and we'll take care of the rest all inclusive everything anyway we're going to be right back Fish Hunt Talk Radio. The soft science footbed absorbs the shock of pounding waves, engine vibration, and even rocky terrain. Soft science shoes are roomy and relaxed, and they drain and dry quickly. Check out the Soft Science Fin fishing shoes and boots and the Fin H2O for kayaking and canoeing. They're lightweight, slip resistant, and won't mark your deck. See the new styles for men and women and get your pair on at softscience.com. It's time for you to take a real fun adventure. Join a hosted fishing adventure to Alaska or Baja with the staff of Fish Talk Radio. Real fun adventures can book you on any adventure you desire. Bring your fishing friends or meet new ones. Fish Talk Radio gets the best deals from our sponsors to give you the best possible price. Real fun trips are inclusive, easy, no-worry packages to the most popular fish grounds. Trips start around $600. Go to reelfunadventures.com. If you are still using a plastic hard shell cooler, things have changed for the better. AO coolers are lighter with twice the efficiency of the traditional bulky coolers. AO coolers are the best available soft-sided cooler with three-quarter inch high-density closed cell foam insulation. They will keep ice frozen for 24 hours in hot weather. Easy to carry, less space, it fits product inside for better performance. Go to aocoolers.com to order or find a retailer available at West Marine. With a long pedigree, the Snowbee brand today offers the very best equipment modern technology can provide. Started in Europe, Snowbee is now providing quality fly fishing gear in the USA. Waders, clothing, rods, reels, fly lines, bags, and innovative new accessories. Enjoy your sport and leisure time more than ever. The affordable value of Snowbee makes it available to everyone. Go to snowbee-usa.com. Have you noticed the changes in Google lately? Did anybody line you out? You can't fake it anymore. 
They know who said it first, who said it best, who said it the most, who was the most popular, and that just happens to be me since the late 80s, which means that I can put up a page, a post, or a website, optimize it properly, spread it around to 22 million people, and put you on top of your results pages for your chosen searches basically overnight. WhiteMountainBusiness.com Don't want to wait that long? Already have a website that you thought was optimized and doesn't rank anywhere? I can fix that too. Maybe you don't want to wait. Maybe you just want to call me. 928-228-9228 That's 928-228-9228 I've done it for literally thousands and I can do it for you. Welcome back to Fish Talk Hunt Radio with John Hennigan. This is John Hennigan with our host, Frank Selby. And our co-host today is Lace. She was on last week, and gosh, she's so delightful. We've got to bring her on as much as we can. And she's going to be interviewing a friend of hers that is, um, I don't know, co-owner, um, um, He's the editor chief of Guy Harvey Magazine. Guy Harvey Magazine. Now, yes. if someone wants to be finding that, do you just go to just um, go to the search engine and go to Guy Harvey Magazine? Yep, Guy Harvey Magazine or Guy Harvey, either one. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes, sir. Well, I tell you, over the years working with APCO, I've gotten some shirts and. They are extremely high quality. I think they normally go what from sixty to eighty bucks. Is that right? Yeah. Well, you know the t-shirts are less, but and and they're very popular. But the fishing shirts, yeah, they're they're in that range. For mm-hmm. sure, yeah, and definitely definitely worth it. Well, they are, and the material is that they don't wrinkle. I mean, you can yeah. take you can take it off and and throw it on the floor, walk on it a couple of times, pick it up the next morning, shake <laughs> it, give it a shake, yeah. and put it back on. Uh, yeah. and, and and anybody, if there's anybody out there that loves ironing, uh, you know, then uh, I don't know. And uh, this, these shirts, you don't need iron, so that's great. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I've got a place in Cabo San Lucas, and you get down to the dock, and everybody waves that to me and says, "Hey, Gary Harvey." <laughs> Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Any, any. You go to the Fred Hall show, or you go to the Miami Boat show, and everybody's got Guy Harvey gear on. So it's 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 pretty cool. Well, it's a great brand. Uh, Fred, let's first of all let's find out who Guy Harvey is. Uh, Guy Harvey uh, is um, uh, a marine uh, conservationist um, and artist, really. First, I mean, Guy. Uh, Started his uh, art career. He was a, he was a college professor um, hmm. uh, teach, teaching marine biology hmm. uh, of all things. I didn't know that. And and he yeah he he was at the uh, University of West Indies in uh, Jamaica, uh, which is where he was born. And uh, wow. guy is uh, is um, a British Jamaican. Um, his family comes from from uh, England way back way back when, and uh, so he's I think sixth generation Jamaican. Wow, uh, I had no idea. Yeah, 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 and uh, cool. pe- people don't realize that. And so anyway, he went into this career as a as a, a marine uh, science teacher in college, but he was always doing his art. He he did a, um, a really cool series on the old man in the sea. Uh, oh. pen and ink series and so his friends finally coaxed him into going to a, a show he went to the Fort Lauderdale boat show brought some of his um, art and he's, he's just self-trained not professionally trained he sold everything out and then he realized well maybe I'm onto something here uh, shortly after that uh, somebody saw the his um, some of his um, his artwork and said, hey, we would like to put that on a T-shirt, see if the fisherman would like it. Well, long story short, um, 30 years later, uh, they sell something like uh, 3 million uh, T-shirts a year <laughs> and other apparel. So, uh, so that uh, resonated uh, with, um, with the fishing community, obviously, in the boating community. And his art sales are very strong. He, yeah. he does some beautiful, beautiful art. And he's Very a guy's talented. a yeah. guy's a, is a is a Hall of Fame 
a scuba diver and and fisherman, and he loves getting. Uh, he, I think he likes to scuba dive more than more than fish because he can see the subject that he wants to paint uh, in their natural environment. Mm-hmm. And so that's that. that's uh, that's that's guy. And you know, he just like a lot of us that are in the marine um, uh, field. We we learn that we need to protect those things that we love to catch and we love to hunt. And so he has become a very um, a very strong voice in Absolutely. the marine conservation well, community. A, a really quick con- uh, comment. There's a lot of T-shirts that have drawings or pictures of fish. But when you see a Guy Harvey shirt, you know that it's Guy Harvey that did it. There's oh, just yeah. his, uh, his attention to detail, the colors. It, they're just, uh, you know, uh, just so much fun. Yeah. They I are, have a quick question. Yes, sir. Yeah. When he's scuba diving, does he do it by memory or does he shoot a picture and then do it off the picture? You know, he does both. Honestly, uh, he he does a lot of photography, but most of it is from memory. When he's painting, and you see him painting, he's doing all that from memory. Uh, he, yeah. he likes to do photography, but it but he doesn't look at a picture because you can never uh, get the the fish to be in that perfect position uh, to do the um, to do the artwork. Mm-hmm. So. Well, let's no, talk. Right. Have a, Fish oh, don't take sorry, direct, directions ahead, very well. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I didn't mean to cut, cut anybody off. Fred, I, I wanted to ask you, how did you get involved with Guy Harvey Magazine? Well, got, so I was a, uh, I used to have a couple of scuba diving magazines um, back in the 90s. And uh, I traveled to Grand Cayman a lot because that's a, a you know, huge hub of scuba diving. And uh, one night, um, uh, somebody said uh, we were at a restaurant. And they said, hey, you need to meet this up-and-coming artist named Guy Harvey. Actually, I think this was 1989. And uh, he was a subscriber to the scuba diving magazine that I published at the time. So he, he knew me. And that was kind of neat. And uh, he's like, oh, yes, I, cool. I, know, I know Fred. And uh, so we met. And we just became friends, and we stayed friends over the years. And uh, in 2010, uh, we started talking about maybe we should do a Guy Harvey magazine. And so we did it. And it's really, the magazine is all about um, fishing, boating, scuba diving, but it's all through the lens of marine conservation. Um, yeah. You know, we you, you'll never see a picture of a marlin or uh, hanging uh, by its tail uh, in in our magazine. I know that that's you know a lot of the tournaments still do that, but you know we're trying to really promote sustainability of the fishery, and that's 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 kind of our thing. Well, a quick comment. I know that uh, Guy Harvey is quite a con- conservationist, and I also know that he has donated a tremendous amount of money um, for that purpose. Yes, absolutely true. The Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation is his uh, nonprofit, and they're constantly funding uh, research, and science, uh, and doing some amazing work. Uh, specifically on sharks Good to that. and, and yeah. billfish, mostly. Uh, that's, that's how okay, it started. Well, I, I mean, I'll have a question for you um, if there's a pause in the uh, conversation. Yeah. Um, Go ahead. So, <laughs> yeah, we, we, got, so, we got about a minute and a half, Lace. Go ahead. Oh, okay, well, then I'm going to just go right ahead. Would you please tell us one of your favorite fishing stories? My favorite fishing stories. Oh gosh, there's so many. Oh, oh, uh, down into a minute and a half. <laughs> uh, a minute and a half. I, you know, I don't know. Uh, gosh, um, I guess probably uh, catching a bonefish on the fly uh, in the Bahamas. I was, I caught a um, uh, an 11 pound bonefish uh, in Grand Bahama, and that was a great Beautiful. thrill. So, but you know, gosh, every fish is a good fishing story in my book, Lace. Very true. Yeah. Yeah. And what what all is in the magazine besides pictures? Yeah, you know we we cover a lot of different topics, John. We we um and and mostly they are like we've covered a lot about the Everglades. We've covered uh, 
some, uh, we did a big piece about the marine protected areas up and down the California coast, you know, which is a huge uh, deal that went on for 10 years, I know. And, and so we, and, you know, we look at the good and the bad. Okay. There's well, we're going to, we're, we're about out of time. Real quick okay. question. Can you get the magazine online? Yes, you can. Go to GuyHarveyMagazine.com or GuyHarvey.com, mm-hmm. and you can order it right online, and we'll send it to you right through the U.S. mail. Okay. Well, that's uh, – yeah, anyway, cool. do that. It's just – it's incredible. And once you see it, every time you see a picture of a fish, you'll know uh, if it's Guy Harvey. He also does a lot of murals. But you'll also you, – I mean, as soon as you see it, you'll know that it's him. Anyway yeah. – uh, that was fascinating. So we're going to have to bring you on again real soon because we didn't get enough time. And I'm going to try and get some T-shirts or from shirts from you, too. So anyway, thank you. And we'll be right back with Patient Talk Radio. Passionate sports fishermen who value first class fishing experiences paired with personalized service and amenities. All inclusive Salmon Falls Fishing Resort on the Inland Passage reinvents the Ketchikan fishing getaway. Guests enjoy exceptional gourmet cuisine, superior fishing excursions, fully guided charter or self guided in center console boats accommodating three anglers, updated guest rooms, and suites. On site fishing processing to clean, freeze, and pack your catch. Rooms range from log cabin rustic to modern. Our 52 rooms offer the ultimate in comfort after a long day of sightseeing, fishing, and exploring Ketchikan. Non-anglers love Salmon Falls, too. Shopping along Creek Street, kayaking, hiking, whale watching, or gathering around our fire pits with a hot beverage, all at prices less than expected. Just pull up Salmon Falls Resort in your search engine. The East Cape of Baja, Mexico is world famous for sport fishing. Dorado, tuna, wahoo, marlin, sailfish, roosterfish, and parco. The Van Warmer Resorts make dreams come true at a price all can afford. Hotel Palmas de Cortez, Playa del Sol, and Hotel Punta Colorado have the biggest and best sport fishing fleet in all of Mexico. Call toll-free to 877-777-TUNA to find out how affordable world-class fishing can be. The finest resorts and the best boats in East Cape. Call 877-777-TUNA. Vagabundos del Mar Boat and Travel Club has 42 years experience introducing RVers to the joys of Mexico. Specializing in Baja, Vagabundos leads caravans and sponsors fishing tournaments, trailer boat cruises, and weekend getaways in Mexico and the West. Vagabundos Del Mar also saves its 10,000 members tons of money on low-cost auto insurance. Stay up to date on Mexican travel with the printed newsletter online at V-A-G-A-B-U-N-D-O-S dot com or call 800-474-BAJA. With a long pedigree, the snow Snowbee brand today offers the very best equipment modern technology can provide. Started in Europe, Snowbee is now providing quality fly fishing gear in the USA. Waders, clothing, rods, reels, fly lines, bags, and innovative new accessories. Enjoy your sport and leisure time more than ever. The affordable value of Snowbee makes it available to everyone. Go to snowbee-usa.com. A full surface fly shop. His and her Fly Fishing offers FFI certified international fly fishing instructor and guide service with Frank Selby. Listen to Frank as host of fishhunttalkradio.com or listen live Saturdays at 9 a.m. Pacific time on Sirius XM Radio Channel 211. Custom flies are handmade to to your order in-house in Newport Beach. Fishing in Mexico, Belize, Florida, or the Rockies, Frank and the staff will deliver exactly what you need. Flies and gear. Google his and her fly fishing. Welcome back to Fish Talk Hunt Radio with John Hennigan. This is John Hennigan with our host, Frank Selby, and our co-host, uh, Lace. And uh, Lace, your website is not too difficult, but oh, give it to well, us. Uh, thanks. <laughs> thanks for having me. Yes, it's fishingadventureswithlace.com. Fishingadventureswithlace.com. Well, yeah. when we get a chance, maybe we'll talk about that. But right now... We want to go to Devin Olson, who is, uh, Frank says he's one of the uh, best anglers that he knows. So we're going to talk a little to, to Devin about, first of all, uh, Devin, tell us what you do. Uh, well, I'm um, formerly a fisheries biologist, but I now run uh, my own website at tacticalflyfisher.com, where it's uh, an online um, 
fly fishing resource, so I sell lots of goodies there, mainly geared towards taking a lot of the, the techniques from competitive fly fishing and making the gear and, and the methods available for everyday anglers. Well, you know, it's interesting. You use the term competitive fly fishers. I don't think I've heard that term before. Um, I mean, they do have tournaments, but give us what is a, what is a, uh, um, a technical fly fisher? Well, so competitive, uh, I, I compete for the U.S. National Fly Fishing Team. Um, we've been doing that for 13 years now. Um, and so basically what I've done is over the last few years is try and disseminate a lot of the, the techniques and the approaches that I've learned through those competitions and tried to make them available for, you know, any angler to adopt and use in their own fishing and and hopefully be a lot more successful. Well, two quick questions, if you don't mind. Um, have you placed well in any of these tournaments? Sure, yeah. I mean, I have a, a lot of medals from all the domestic tournaments here, and uh, and then uh, at uh, the World Fly Fishing Championships, I have a silver and a bronze team medal from uh, 2015 and 16, and I also won the bronze medal individually in, in 2015 as well. That's wow. awesome. Well, one, one more question you forgot to tell them. Tell them about your two books. Well, so I have two films and then a book as well. Um, we have uh, two instructional films called Modern Nymphing, uh, European Inspired Techniques, and then also Modern Nymphing Elevated, Beyond the Basics. Mm -hmm. And so if you're looking for a resource for European nymphing and, and you learn uh, well by video instruction, then those are two really good resources for you that... Uh, Help, have helped a lot of people learn how to, to uh, nymph using your nymphing methods. Yeah. And then uh, my book is Tactical Fly Fishing, uh, Lessons Learned from Competition for All Anglers. And it kind of just takes a, a competitive approach to breaking down the river and and separating it into parts and, and learning how to fish each type of water. Well, we'd love to have you go through it, but we're not going to have that much time. But what the type of fly fishing you're talking about, you know, as we know, saltwater fly fishing has exploded. But uh, give us an idea about the different species. Um, and if there, is there all basically the same technique, or do you, is every uh, situation different? Well, so uh, in, in tournaments anyway, we're all fish, we're fishing basically just for cold water species. Um, so you know, I've I've caught all, all sorts of different species of different tournaments, including European grayling and and even some Atlantic salmon in Scotland. Uh, um, brown, you know, all, all sorts of trout species. So that's mainly what we're targeting at least during tournaments, but it's all the same techniques. Uh, you just are going to vary your technique and your approach based on the water type that you find in the river in front of you. And, well, again, is it a different technique for different types of fish? Or let's say you're fishing on a, on a, a, on a lake on a boat or if you're standing in the, uh, shallow salt water. Um, what are the similarities and what are things that are that, the skills that you that are different? Well, mainly what I've taught so far has been fishing for trout in rivers. Uh, I do lots of uh, fishing for trout in lakes as well as part of the competitions, but all the, the materials that I have out there for instruction have been on uh, fishing in lake or in rivers mostly for trout at this point. Beautiful. And it's, it's mainly, uh, you know, what... What I've become known for is uh, teaching European nymphing styles, so um, indicatorless nymphing, not using a strike indicator or a suspension device, but using very long, thin leaders, and something called a cider, which is built into your leader that then becomes your strike indicator, and then uh, weighted flies instead of adding you know, split shot and things like that, and just learning how to can, uh, make and control drifts that uh, are um, <clears throat> usually a lot more convincing than you can get with other rigs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm just trying Go to Go ahead and ask that question you wanted. And what what question was that? <laughs> she was trying to ask you a question. Oh, who I well, was? She... Um Oh, I, 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 it dropped. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're too young for that. The, the next time you start to ask, just ask him. Okay, well, can you tell us more, please, about the books that you've written and what your process was for that? 
Sure, yeah. Well, it kind of blends a little bit of my background in fisheries biology uh, with my my background as a competitive angler. So uh, mm-hmm. I think most people they most people end up going to the same river, to the same stretch river, to the same pool, to the same whatever. Uh, a lot of times when they fish, because they've maybe had success there in the past, and so they want to go back and have success again. So they take the well, it worked yesterday approach, so mm-hmm. it will probably work again yeah. today. But um, that doesn't really help us learn how to adapt to new rivers, new situations, mm-hmm. new water types, and understand how to approach them differently. And as a competitive angler, um, I get put on rivers that I've never seen before in a different country where I don't really know anything about the bug life, and I still have to figure out how to catch fish. Yeah. And so the book is, uh, you know, it's targeted at, at, at just making people <clears throat> more well-rounded and better anglers overall so that when they come upon a new piece of water, they don't have to feel like it's foreign. They can well, look at the similarities between different rivers and look at what's in front of them and say, okay, well, this this has this water type, and this specific technique is, mm-hmm. is probably my best shot at fishing that well, water type. De- Devin, I always say that if you're going to go on a trip, the first day, take a guide because uh, you need someone with local knowledge because every place is different. I agree. And so, you know, that's usually the best place to start. And the other thing about, I went here yesterday, so they'll be here today. Um, the fish have fins and tails, <laughs> and there are some that are more territorial. <laughs> but just because they're there yesterday, they might be somewhere else today. Very true. Uh, one yeah, more so thing like, I'd like about to learning to be adaptable. Yeah. Why don't you explain uh, about a set of a nine foot rod, a thirteen foot rod, lightweight? Could you do a little of that? Well, so most of the rods that that I end up fishing are in the ten to eleven foot category, uh, and typically in two or three weight, um, at least for nymphing and and uh, dry dropper work. Uh, when I'm just fishing standard dry fly stuff, I typically fishing a nine foot three weight or a four weight, but but those longer, lighter rods, when you're European nymphing, they help you fish further away from yourself. They really help uh, with casting a Euro, a Euro nymphing rig because you can make a longer casting arc, and then they give you a lot of of uh, protection when it comes to to um, light tippet and fighting fish on them and, and cushioning them. So there's lots of benefits to having those long, light rods. Well, there's tre- tremendous fishery. You know, you mentioned I think that uh, you're up in the Owens River now, which is which is absolutely incredible. And the thing about the Owens River and Bishop is that, you know, it's it's not that beautiful when you look at it, but when you're there and looking up, at the mountains all around you. But that whole eastern Sierras has got to be one of the you know spend a week up there and fish three or four different uh, uh, lakes and streams it's just beautiful but uh, I don't suppose you ever get the opportunity to go surf fishing when you're up there <laughs> no 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 surf fishing up here uh, yeah I happen to be on a, a speaking tour at a bunch of the clubs in, in Southern California right now so this is kind of a little weekend trip while I have a few days off but uh but uh, I am supposed to do some surf fishing, actually, towards the end of next week before I head home. So mm-hmm. that'll be fun. Well, if you want, come down. We'll go out on the boat if you got time. All right. Sounds good. Oh, uh, one, uh, are you on the lower up or on teaching uh, this weekend? I'm not teaching. I'm just fishing. So I'm, I'm going wherever my uh, – uh, I've got Marshall from one of the clubs who's just kind of – uh, showing me around, and I think we're we're doing all of those things. So, yeah. well, you get up the upper orange, you're more likely to be in double digits. Yeah, well, I'm sure it'll be fun no matter what. Yeah, well, the Owens, yeah, if you catch a ten incher or a thirty incher. Yeah, well, Owens <laughs> is kind of an interesting stream. Uh, you know, you think of a river running wild and free, but the Owens, especially when it gets down around Bishop. Um, I mean, it's only about 15 feet across. You, you don't even have to cast. You just drop your line in the water. <laughs> but uh, it is a tremendous fishery. And Beautiful. the areas around it are just, you know, with, with uh, Mammoth Lakes and all the way up to Bridgeport and Mount Whitney. And um, it's just a tremendous area. Yep, I'm looking forward to exploring some more of it. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, we've got uh, almost a minute left. First of all, let's go again about uh, your books, and how do we get in touch with you? 
Yeah, so my, my website's just tacticalflyfisher.com, mm-hmm. and I have uh, my book and our, our films there. We have both a DVD and digital download versions of the film, and you can find links mm-hmm. to both of them under the product description. Hey, I, I hate, uh, to put, hate to put on pressure on you, but can I use some of your video on uh, uh, for Fish Talk Radio? Sure. Okay, it's legal now. <laughs> All right. Thanks. But... Uh, uh, well, it's it, it's been a real pleasure to have uh, you know somebody of your caliber coming on and giving some tips. We really appreciate you taking the time, and I uh, hope you have a fantastic week. So Devin Olson, right. we'll be talking to you soon. You are listening to Fish Hunt Talk Radio. Go to Fish Hunt, fishtalkradio.com, and listen to the show as many times as you want, and catch up on what you might have missed. stretches for miles in front of you and with the ram 1500 you'll be able to reach mile after open mile it gets a best in class 25 miles per gallon highway so your destination won't just be determined by your gas gauge but by your gauge for achievement and the ram 1500 is the first ever back-to-back motor trend truck of the year guts glory ram see your local ram dealer today for great deals epa estimated 25 mpg highway based on v6 4x2 a full service fly shop his and her fly fishing offers ffi certified international fly fishing instructor and guide service with frank selby listen to frank as host of fishhunttalkradio.com or listen live saturdays at 9 a.m pacific time on sirius xm radio channel 211 custom flies are handmade to, to your order in house in newport beach fishing in mexico belize florida or the rockies frank and the staff will deliver exactly what you need flies and gear google his and her fly fishing A few years ago, a sailor set out to design a boat shoe that was comfortable and stable, non-skid, and wouldn't mark the decks. Today, these incredibly comfortable shoes are worn by anglers, boaters, professional guides, and charter captains. Go to softscience.com to see more. Soft Science shoes and boots are lightweight and shock absorbent with just the right level of support. Several styles come in all sizes. Enjoy the Soft Science shoe in the water and out. Check them out at softscience.com. Alaskan RV Butler, guiding, fishing, hiking, sightseeing, adventure. The Alaskan RV Butler, like a cruise on wheels in the comfort of an RV, view the wonders of Alaskan interior, streams, ocean, and wildlife, or fish for the big one, all while pampered by Mike, the Alaskan RV Butler. Mike's inclusive tours serve butter-drenched shellfish and mouth-watering steaks. Mike is your personal chef, chauffeur, guide, and planner. And for the real Alaska, contact MikeRVButler at gmail.com. That's MikeRVButler at gmail.com. It's time for you to take a real fun adventure. Join a hosted fishing adventure to Alaska or Baja with the staff of Fish Talk Radio. Real Fun Adventures can book you on any adventure you desire. Bring your fishing friends or meet new ones. Fish Talk Radio gets the best deals from our sponsors to give you the best possible price. Real Fun Trips are inclusive, easy, no-worry packages to the most popular fish grounds. Trips start around $600. Go to reelfunadventures.com. back to Fish Talk Hunt Radio with John Hennigan. This is John Hennigan and with our host, Mr. Frank Selby, world-renowned fly fishing instructor uh, and you know, owner of his, her fly shop in, uh, in Southern California. We also have Joe Valdez. Now, we've talked to Freedom Boat Club before, and it just seems too good to be true. Now, if you enjoy fishing, especially if you don't go to the same place every time, if you want to buy a boat, and uh, I live in Santa Barbara, and the slip fees are not bad, but a 30-foot slip, you're going to pay $75,000 for it because they're very limited. And, but if you take the cost of the boat um, or the payments, 
the insurance, the maintenance. And, you know, if you use it, you know, four or five times a week, that makes sense. But like most people, they might use it, you know, once a week at the most. And if you take the cost of owning a boat as opposed to using a boat that comes from Freedom Boat Club, it's much, you know what they always say, it's better to, better to rent than to buy. But, uh, you know, they have a tremendous assortment of boats. And for what you pay, it's way, way less expensive than owning your own boat. And the other thing is, is that you've got a boat, let's say it's on a trailer. You go out, launch the boat, get all the gear, get set up, leave the marina, you go out fishing, you come back put it on the trailer, wash the boat, put every gears away. I mean, that's, that, that is, uh, that, you know, that's something that uh, you go, well, I'd like to go, but it's too much work. But with Freedom Boat Club, you just make a reservation, walk down, stand on the boat, everything's there, it's all fueled, ready to go. You go out fishing, you step off the boat, say thank you very much, and you're out of there. Hey, John, you forgot one important thing. Okay. The... Dock boys will come up, pick up all your equipment, take it down, put it on your boat, and at the end of the day, they pick it up and take it back with your fish <laughs> back to your car. And <laughs> don't forget to tip them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. But it just sounds it sounds too easy. Why wouldn't Why wouldn't anybody want to do that? It's it. Well, Joe, you... tell you, I was the hardest guy to get to come aboard. Hmm. He, his buddy would tell you that, uh, Joe. We we've been doing all the talking, but uh, you know. I appreciate that. And, you know, John, you said it great. Um, we're going to save you time. Oh, we're going to yeah. save you money, and we're going to save you heartbreak. Or how many because times what? you go down to start your boat and the battery's dead? Oh, that's the worst, especially when you got your buddies or your yep. family or your four year old kid. Yeah, you know. Um, at Freedom Boat Club, we've got a fleet of 30 boats in San Diego. So if one of the boats doesn't start, you're going to know about it ahead of time. We're just going to put you on another fishing boat. And all of our fishing boats have GPS, fish finder, down scan, bait tank, live well, rod holders. And they're all less than three years old. Whoa. That's a franchise standard. We have to rotate Whoa. their boats before yeah. the third birthday. So you're always on new equipment. Very cool. You got a cobia in there? We do. We run a couple of cobias. Uh, our, our most popular fishing cobia would be the Center Console 220. Um, we That's put a, my baby. Uh, a bait tank right underneath the seat, and then we keep a live well on the stern. So we got the best of both worlds. The cobia is a good day to run if you just want to go fish the flats for 90 minutes, you know, or if you want to spend the entire day out there with a few buddies. It's a great boat. Uh, and if they wanted to join in San Diego, how would they get in touch with you? Well, we've got two locations in San Diego. You can either get on freedomboatclub.com, choose the location, and the, the phone number for the membership executive will pop up. Mm -hmm. Every location has their own membership executive. Okay, next so that, let's do that one more time. That, the boats. That's freedomboatclub.com. Is that what you said? Freedomboatclub.com. It's a public site that allows you to look at all 175 locations wow. and see detailed pictures of the boats. Mm -hmm. And as you're sc scrolling through the boats, and if you live in San Diego, it'll show you the contact information for myself, Joe Valdez, a membership executive. For Freedom well, Boat give us an idea of the range on the boats that you have. Uh, what are they? Well, well, as far as size, Freedom Boat Club has a standard. All the boats are 30 feet and under. We feel that's a good size to be safe, have fun, and they can take whatever the Pacific Ocean is going to throw at you. Mm -hmm. And plus, remember, you're traveling from location to location. So it helps to have some consistency and some uniform with the boat. So when you arrive to Sarasota, Florida, coming from California, you'll think, hey, I run a boat 30 feet and under all the time. All i got to do is get to know my, my geographical area here, and you're good to go. Mm-hmm. And uh, we provide a lot of training, there, unlimited free training. <laughs> yeah, down there we can go yeah, now into Mexico, correct? 
Absolutely. The, the Coronados are a popular destination. Those islands are fun to fish. Yeah. It's a tr- dramatic island with lots of it's a great light fishery. streaming through yeah. the islands. A lot of can, tuna. The birds of, are everywhere, the boils are everywhere, and your home bite dinner. I think I understand there's a lot of tuna out there right now. Um, now, going into Mexico, what are the regulations? Well, if you're a Freedom Boat Club member, we're going to take care of the temporary import permit. So that's already behind you. We'll take care of that. But it's up to the fisherman on his own to get on to the uh, FMM Sports Fishing Mexico website to get their FMM visitor's permit. That's if you're fishing within 12 miles from Mexican land. Other than that, you'll just need a Mexican fishing license. It's something you can pick up at your local bait and tackle shop or online. Online, yeah. But other than that, you just need a rod and a reel, Mexican fishing license, FMM visitors permit. You're looking at about thirty-five dollars per person. Mm-hmm. Sounds great. Hey, whoop, whoop. <laughs> well, and uh, honestly, I, I'm not. I know what my cost is up here. I can't even get a slip for half of what it costs me per month. No, oh, no, uh, our I, members are paying less than anyone in the marina. It is, and they're boating just as much. Yep. It's, 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 but to make a long story short, we're a small, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, a smart alternative to boat ownership. Mm-hmm. We own and maintain all the boats. You get to <clears throat> use them and have all the fun. Mm-hmm. Yep. I figure I've saved enough in the last three years. I could have bought a brand new boat. <laughs> And I don't have any of the worries or the maintenance. Or is this year my uh, my uh, mooring fees are going up? So I love it. Well, That's now, cool. is there an additional fee, you know, once you join? And go ahead and give us a, an idea of, of what it costs to join the club. There's, there's different membership plans, but you can come in as a full member for about the same as a down payment on a small boat. Mm-hmm. Um, so you're looking at six thousand dollars to join, three ninety five a month for unlimited daily boating. Mm-hmm. You're a lifetime member, three ninety five a month. That includes your insurance. Mm-hmm. That includes a hundred percent of your maintenance. Mm-hmm. That includes all your cleaning, access to any of the hundred and seventy five locations. Basically, if you have a boat, that's almost what it's going to cost you to maintain it and, oh, yeah. and, and yeah. to store it. And more than that, it. yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, we're, we're going to save you time. How much is your time worth? Well, I'd rather spend it on the water. I, I agree. <laughs> you know, we mm-hmm. feel that boating and fishing should be an escape. It should be 100% fun. So mm-hmm. we removed all the hassles and the details that come along with boat ownership. Mm-hmm. That way you spend 100% of your time fishing. 100% well, of your again, time you, you, cruising you, around with your family, you, 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 or whale watching, no more maintenance. Right. You touched on something, is that there's fishing and there's catching. And, yeah. You know, and, you know, sometimes you get lucky and get to do both. But just being on the water, uh, it's like the difference between a sedan and a convertible. I mean, just being on the water and being out there is worth the trip no matter, you know, what what the fish are doing. And you talk oh, about yeah, this. One- one more thing about down there. It's one of the best places to bonefish along our coast. Bonefish, really? Yeah, yeah. I, when I was building the Coronado Bridge, we were catching them. They called me a liar 20 years ago. Now everybody knows. Yeah. <laughs> so is there flat Am I lying? Beaches? I'm dying. Yeah. Yeah, well, without giving away all of our San Diego secrets, he's not lying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, Frank is, uh, you know, we went up to Alaska last year, and he took his fly rod. He says, I want to catch a halibut with a fly rod. And I go, Frank, if anybody can do it, I'm sure, you you know, you'd be the one. But you don't fly fish for halibut. <laughs> you know, you, it just it, it doesn't work. And uh, if you get one of any size, you know, then what do you do? But uh, uh, needless to say, I won't tell you what happened. <laughs> I got a well, Frank, pound. we're looking forward to your next visit. You know, yeah. um, if you can open the door for fly fishing for some of our San Diego guys, um, greatly appreciated. You know, we always love when you come over and visit us. You're always welcome at our club. 
and uh, let us know next time you make your way down here so we can get ready for you. Okay. Yeah, me and you're going out one day. And we'll, Roger we'll, that. We we can invite the two, uh, the two other the our car our, my co-host and John if we want. There you go. <laughs> yeah, we'd love to. If they you. want. So fun. Well, uh, Stacy yeah. Stacy lives in the probably the fishing capital of the world in Clearwater, Florida, but you know there's other parts <laughs> of the world that are, get some pretty good fishing. But we are about out of time, oh, yeah. and uh, again, um, it would be. Uh, FreedomBoatClub.com? FreedomBoatClub.com. Choose your location. It'll tell you the person to call. Perfect. I hope you choose San Diego. I hope to talk to you soon. I want to show you my fleet of boats and talk to you more about fishing. You're awesome, Joe. Thank you very much. Thank you, John. All right. You are listening yep. to Fish Hunt Talk Radio. Uh, go to the website, FishTalkRadio.com, and listen to the show. The Soft Science footbed absorbs the shock of pounding waves, engine vibration, and even rocky terrain. Soft Science shoes are roomy and relaxed, and they drain and dry quickly. Check out the Soft Science Fin fishing shoes and boots and the Fin H2O for kayaking and canoeing. They're lightweight, slip-resistant, and won't mark your deck. See the new styles for men and women and get your pair on at SoftScience.com. Used by fishermen who know where to get the best fishing gear around, Aftco makes the highest quality fishing rod components worldwide. If it says Aftco, you know you have a quality rod. Guy Harvey Clothing, the best outdoor clothing line anywhere, is also available through Aftco. Longest lasting, functional, and best looking clothing you'll be proud to wear. Only the very best materials and workmanship. As soon as you put it on, you'll know the difference. Look for Aftco at quality retailers or go to AFTCO.com. Have you noticed the changes in Google lately? Did anybody line you out? You can't fake it anymore. They know who said it first, who said it best, who said it the most, who was the most popular, and that just happens to be me since the late 80s, which means that I can put up a page, a post, or a website, optimize it properly, spread it around to 22 million people, and put you on top of your results pages for your chosen searches basically overnight. WhiteMountainBusiness.com Don't want to wait that long? Already have a website that you thought was optimized and doesn't rank anywhere? I can fix that too. Maybe you don't want to wait. Maybe you just want to call me. 928-228-9228 that's 928-228-9228. I've done it for literally thousands, and I can do it for you. Fish on! Yeah, it's a big one. For passionate sports fishermen who value first-class fishing experiences paired with personalized service and amenities, all-inclusive Salmon Falls Fishing Resort on the Inland Passage reinvents the Ketchikan Fishing Getaway. Guests enjoy exceptional gourmet cuisine, superior fishing excursions, fully guided charter or self guided in center console boats accommodating three anglers, updated guest rooms, and suites. On-site fishing processing to clean, freeze, and pack your catch. Rooms range from log cabin rustic to modern. Our 52 rooms offer the ultimate in comfort after a long day of sightseeing, fishing, and exploring Ketchikan. Non-anglers love Salmon Falls, too. Shopping along Creek Street, kayaking, hiking, whale watching, or gathering around our fire pits with a hot beverage. All at prices less than expected. Just pull up Salmon Falls Resort in your search engine. Welcome back to Fish Talk Hunt Radio with John Hennigan. This is John Hennigan along with host Frank Selby. Co-host today is uh, uh, Lace. Uh, we're having a fishing party. We're going to bring in with us for a couple. We're going to bring with us a couple of, uh, in for just a couple of minutes, Matt Herod, who is, uh, I guess, pretty much the guy at Salmon Falls Resort. And Matt, I don't want to steal your thunder, but I've been going up to Ketchikan, Alaska, at least once a 
year for, oh, 20 years or so. And I go by Salmon Falls. I go, that place is beautiful. But, you know, I never went there because, you know, we I take groups up there and we try and get the best price we can. Well, you've made it av- uh, available for us to get both. You know, Salmon Falls is a high-end fishing resort. It's not a fishing camp. You know, high-end restaurant, gourmet quality, and we put a package together that includes a uh, one-day fishing charter, and yeah, which is sounds worth, like a real treat to me. It's worth about three seventy-five, four hundred dollars just for that, and then you get uh, um, another uh, three days uh, self-guided on a center console, eighteen foot, um, and it just and it's all inclusive. You know, you just just show up. And you get picked up at the airport to catch a can, and they just take you there. You don't have to get on a float plane or anything, and you can take back as much fish as you want. Anyway, uh, Matt, awesome. I don't know why we brought you on, because <laughs> I did all the talking. Give us give us a little bit of an idea of what's going on up there. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I appreciate you letting me come on. We're having a great time right now. We're working uh, working day and night to get this resort open. We opened to the public on June 1st, and... Uh, you know, we're just starting to get our first crew members in, and things are really starting to come together. Um, so, you know, it's a beautiful time of year. It's nice and sunny in Ketchikan today, and it's actually pretty warm. So we're getting excited for a, a fantastic summer, and we're looking forward to having you guys out here. Well, Ketchikan is in the Inland Passage, and I think it's known as the tropics of Alaska. And during sure. the, in the summertime, you're, you know, you know, obviously it'll probably get some rain, a little bit some wind throughout the day at some time. But uh, it's, you know, when we go up there end of July, it'll be T-shirts and shorts. Yep, you got it. Yeah, it can be really nice. You know, um, it's uh, it's going to probably be about uh, high 60s today. So mm-hmm. pretty good for early May. We're enjoying it. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, no, it's so beautiful up there. And it's, you know, with all the different islands and, and uh, the, the uh, you know, the um, uh, bald eagles are like seagulls, and there's just a, yeah. such a great variety of, and of course it's the salmon capital of the world for good reason, because the it's salmon that are in the ocean, cool. they have to swim right by your dock to go past, um, through the islands and back up to the streams where they came from, so it's just a, it's a no-brainer. You get, you get six pinks, six silvers, and one king per day. Mm. So, yeah, yeah. You nailed it. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. We're lucky to have it. There's been many times where people brought back, if you take the the value of the fish that they took home, they more than paid for their trip. Yeah, I agree. It's it's a beautiful product that people go home with, and it's good eating. You know, we get those real bright chrome mm-hmm. silver cohos that come in here and in my opinion well, some of the best you know, things wow. you can eat. the thing is is that these fish you know when you're out fishing you just come into the dock they unload it they uh, process it uh, vacuum seal it and fat, f- fast freeze it uh, so it's just a good product it'll, it'll last in your freezer for you know I've had some that was two years old but after a year no problem that. that's mm-hmm. beautiful yeah mm-hmm yeah, yeah, anyway. that's awesome. You're right. We're a one-stop shop for all of that. So you're right. We do take okay. care of it. We vac- vacuum pack it, seal it up, and make okay. sure you can take it home with you. All right. Beautiful well, we're stuff. gonna we're gonna have to go. But go to fishtalkradio.com. Click on Real Fun Adventures. Check it out. Get in touch with me. Uh, we're offering a price that I can't even say on the air. But uh, if you get a paper route, you can afford this trip. It's about half of what you would expect to pay. Yeah, awesome. it's a it's awesome deal. All right, well we'll see you guys, uh, and we'll see you, Lace and uh, Frank. We'll see you in yes. Alaska, July twenty eighth to the August second. So get in touch with us quick because time's getting short. Yeah.